All right, guys, for today's video, we're going to be playing Darius in top lane, and this is going to be your Darius for Dummies video. So if, if you don't know how to play Darius, or maybe you're just not very good, and you won't up to it, I'm going to show you how to beat up on, on enemy top laner. So especially someone weak, like Nasus early on, here's what you're going to want to do. One, you're going to want to look to fight him literally from level one, since you know you beat him, right? So if he walks up, Straight up, just get the three stack. And, uh... Look to punish him as much as possible. Now, this guy is fleet. He's got Doran Shield. Probably a second wind. We're going to look to shove the second wave in. So, the reason we're going to shove the second wave in, rather than just pushing this in slowly, is the slower we push it in, the higher level that the Nasus is going to be... Uh, when this comes back to me. So what we're going to do is like the easiest wave management trick in the game. And that is to get the wave shoving back to us. So the way we do this, you see how we shove the second wave in? His minion wave is stalled by my minions under turret. And now my next minion wave is coming in his side of the lane. Which means the next set of reinforcements for this Nasus uh, is going to come earlier. Which is going to cause the wave to shove to me. Now, you see what I'm doing, right? I'm not going after Nasus right now. I'm allowing Nasus to get some farm right now to deny him everything later. And that's like the crux of this strat. Oh, Never. I missed Cannon Rip. I'm going to put a ward here, just so I can see if Nocturne loops top. But you see how his wave is now shoving towards me? This is all you want to do. I'm not going to hit this minion, even though I can last hit it. Just because I want to keep it alive to shove in towards me. Darius can manage the wave very well, so you can let the wave stack, like, super fast. So, look at this. Not gonna fight him here. I'm gonna let the wave get deeper, that way I can just ghost and flash, and basically just kill the Nasus. So he needs to shove this in. But here's the thing. My Shaco's coming top. My lane's in a good spot. And this guy's just dead. Like. Easy as that. Easiest kill. Easiest way to just snowball your lane. Oh. Oh. Never mind. He should wave. If I could have kept that frozen, I could have set up another kill. But, I mean, it's basically as easy as that. So, we got Nasus's uh, ghost. And what we can do is we can do this again. All we got to do is get this wave shoving back towards us, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to stack the wave, we're going to shove it again, and we're going to get the wave shoved back towards us. So that we can do the exact same thing to Nasus again, except this time he's going to have ghost. And I still flash. Uh, I'm going to crush this in, and right now is a great time to go back and buy when I get this shoved in. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to walk the wave in the turret. Very important. That way he doesn't freeze the lane on us. Walk the lane in the turret, and then back. So right here, I'm going to buy tier 2 boots. Tier 2 boots are more important than uh, buying damage early on. One, in case the Nocturne ganks us, but two... Having that extra mobility is going to be extremely important because we're going to have an extra 20 move speed on top of the Nasus from the Tier 2 boots. So this wave is shoving back into us for the exact same reason before. Because we crashed the wave with the stacked wave and his lane got kind of stalled, his reinforcements are going to come in first and it's going to cause the wave to shove back to me. And then we can set up the exact same kill again. And this is essentially how you can just uh, completely annihilate your opponent uh, playing Darius. So, we're going to let this uh, crash in a little bit. Let the wave uh, push into us. Could be a little bit better on CS, but that's whatever. So, Natsus hit 6. And you're thinking, oh shoot, he's level 6, I'm level 5. But, let me tell you what. Because of the way Darius works, Darius can almost instantly kill these minions. In fact, I can maybe cheese the Nasus here, because he doesn't know that I'm actually level 6 here. Okay. 
So, got his ulti from my ulti. But this is going to be worse for me. And let me tell you why. The wave is on my side of the lane, right? And look how many more minions he has than I do. So, right here, he burns his, um, his ulti. But we get to deny him a large amount of number of minions. So, he, he loses a lot of experience here. And we gain all the experience and get the gold. And guess what? We could do the exact same thing to him again with both of us having an ult, except this time I'm going to have Ghost and Flash. So he's still in the ex like the, the, the terrible spot he's in just because of the way we're managing the wave, and that's the key. It's very easy. Uh, there's not really many mechanics to Darius other than, you know, make sure you're layering your CC that we can land your abilities. And we're going to stand here very... Um, Oh, he actually wastes his wither. Yep. Yeah. Guys, ghost. And he's chunked now, right? And guess what? The wave is still shoving back towards us. So if he went for one minion, it got punished heavily for it. Uh, we're going to take this plant here. One, Sinassus has to take it. And uh, two, that way we can be a little bit higher mana so we can pressure Nasus again. So it looks like Nasus he went for CDR boots and double uh, cloth armor. So he has the mobility. It's got a little bit of tankiness. The Nocturne's level six. I guess back here. I was trying to get the kill on the Nasus too, but just barely off. I do have double buffs. I think I think Talon could have dealt this Nasus. If Talon came top and tanked the wave for me, I could have just killed Nasus. But oh, it's fine. So as far as our uh, build is gonna go, this game we're gonna go Trinity Force since I plan on uh, beating the Nasus into the ground and taking turret with uh, the extra damage we've been getting from uh, Trinity Force. We get bonus damage stacking against turrets. We get the Spellblade proc uh, for taking out plates and turrets quickly. And guess what? We got the wave shoved in, and again, look at this wave. Pushing back towards me. Nasus wave position in a bad spot. It's so right here. I mean, he, he literally has to wither just to run away from me, right? I've got the wave in a good spot again. Did I see that NASA's buff? Next patch? What's NASA's buff? I, have my I, might, I might make a video on that in the PBE. Is it the wither is getting buffed? Really? You know, that's actually, like, NASA's Wither is just a super strong ability, the Wither. Okay, I mean, that's kind of strong already. They're buffing it again. They should just buff his um, scaling durability, I think. Rather than buffing, like, an insanely strong ability, but maybe it's just me. Thinning up this wave just a little bit, we're just going to keep the wave right here. So we're going to try to deny Nasus stacks. He might be stacking on just like Krugs or something. But if he's doing that, he's missing a lot of XP here. So you can see I'm controlling the wave. I'm bringing the wave up every time. Every time I bring this wave up, it drags the wave closer on his side of the lane, which means his reinforcements arrive first, which means the wave shoves into me. Gosh, the Gangplank ult almost stole it. My MF is behind bot lane against Samira. And you see this? Like, the, the Nasus literally hasn't been able to do anything. We can just keep the wave in this position, and it's so easy. Make 
no mistake. Nothing crazy going on except us, like, learning to manage this wave. And when he walks up, we're going to try to go for an all-in with our ghost. And try to beat him up. Now, we probably won't ghost instantly this time. We probably do need to get a good bit of a trade. Oh my gosh. I didn't even have to use Ghost and he used Ghost. That's so bad for him. And all he wanted to do was go for that cannon. He wanted to get that plus 12 and we're just denying him. And now we're going to get plates too. And if not for an ulties on us, we just Ghost and walk away. Okay. The um, Nasus might have uh, TP, so we're just going to take it back here. We're gonna go back and grab our Trinity Force and we're gonna be so strong. So I've got Trinity Force. And honestly, let's build into Death Dance. Or not Death Dance, um Dead Mans. So if we go Death Dance, we're gonna have a like good amount of armor. And we're gonna have damage. But I want it a little bit more HP since they are very high damage with the gangplank with the eclipse nocturne. Uh, in the Samira. So I'm going to go a little bit more tanky first, rather than going straight Death Dance. If Nasus was maybe like like a Jax or, or something like Bruiserish, where like I needed the extra damage rather than just surviving, then maybe I'd just do that. Maybe I'd just build Death Dance, but that's a Nasus, I'm going to build that Nance. Alright, looks like we're good. My wave's gonna get spot again, so like again, the, the Nasus can't farm anything. Oh. Get this cannon real quick. <laughs> um Okay. I thought maybe we can go in, but I was mistaken. Oh, Shaco went up. So Shaco didn't fight because he he went up to try to get the um stuff in. Nice. Camp that bush. Nice. I think my CC from my E saved them. Very good. Just gonna crash this in. Alright, I'm gonna back off. Alright, we're getting really freaking fun. A little bit of mistake burning both our sums to try to force this fight, and I just. I got CC to death, to be honest. Like, I have tenacity, I have both tenacity, and I've been flinching on my runes, and I just still just could not move. Between the fear, and the wither, and the slow from Zillion, I was just slowed to death. So, here's the thing about Death Dance, is Death Dance did receive very large healing nerfs. So, because of that, you aren't as tanky in a team fight with Death Dance. So, as Darius, a lot of times you you are probably just gonna get dead man's right. He's gonna want this cannon. Oh, I swear that that hook would hit for any other Darius player. But every time I play Darius, I swear that hook doesn't hit. Um, we got ripped in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freeze this wave and just deny Nasus this entire wave of minions. If I push this now. I don't even get Krugs, I don't get anything, and there's no objective up. So really, by pushing, I'm just allowing Nasus to farm when he shouldn't be able to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, like, take a look at the objective timers. Uh, now I'm going to start setting up my, my shove. 
with the objective timers coming up. That way, I have a very large mini wave pushed into their turret by the time Rift spawns. That way, I can get Rift from a team. Rift is very worth to get because all the local gold you get, just remember that. I'm going to say every single day until you know everyone here understands that Rift Herald is OP. Like, even second Rift, where you can't get plates, 300 local gold. It's, a, it's basically a kill. It's basically a kill, and you have a chance to get a, um, a turret out of it. They went dragon? Yep, so we're going to go for a rift. My destination is clear. <laughs> Darius takes rift herald down very quickly because the bleed stacks do so much damage to rift. Plus we can heal off rift too. Like, you see that stacking bleed damage on Rift Herald? It's just nuts. I'm gonna wait for the next eye to show, pop up. Nice. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna buy my dead mans. And we're gonna actually head towards the dragon fight. I don't think I'll be there in time for, for like, the dragon going down. But I might be able to clean up something after. I can get there pretty quick because I've been mans. I'm zooming. <laughs> Quantum kill. Oh man. I'm telling you, I gotta clean up. I would have got a Penta if the Nasus were there. That would have made Jonah happy. I'm glad I kept my my uh, my five stack up that entire time. Do you still do coaching? I still do coaching in GeoPale. It's $100 for two hour coaching. And then it's uh, $50 for a lot of you. Yeah, I got a couple people sign up for, for coaching this week on Friday and Saturday. I'm work looking forward to working with them. Like on top of the uh, the coaching offer, I also do, um, I do giveaways on my stream. Uh, pretty often for for coaching um, for sub gold giveaways. Clean up on Isle Dance. I feel like that should be one of his lines. That's actually a good one. Or maybe it is a line already on that. I just don't know the skin. Alright. Gosh, the cooldown my W is so low now. Okay, well, I got just got one shotted. And we're just going to stack up for Trinity Force on this turret. Getting that ramp in AD. Go back up. Um, I have Death Dance, Larry and Pace. This is why you ban Darius, like what I'm doing to their team right now. Yeah, and honestly, was there anything I did that was like crazy? I mean, the, the team fight, I played it really well, right? But as far as, like, laning goes, like, the laning is really easy. You just, you get the wave in an easy spot, you press ghost, you run them down, and you just... Biggest thing is that you either use your E, so you can set up your Q and, and hit it correctly, or use your W to set up your, your Q. So make sure you have one of those cooldowns up every time you're, you're, you're wanting to use your Q. Yeah, 
Yeah, Darius is like, especially against another melee matchup, is one of the easiest champions to play into a lot of matchups, but also um, into a range matchup, you can do the same thing with the Ghost, right? You just run down the range matchup. Like, even things like Chemo, you can beat up. He's not going to run in me, is he? Yeah. Looks like he went all the way around. I have my order. Eh, I'm just going to ghost. So, they had a ward on me somewhere. And their whole team was coming down. And I don't want to give a shutdown. Ah, uh, sucks. Both my sums used for that, too. I just don't want to give a thousand gold. I was, like, looking to catch Nasus out of rotation. I end up being cut out. You know, if I'm going to look for that, I probably need to buy it Orc ones. I need to buy a Red Trinket. I'm going to take this turret, though. We, we did the full map rotation. <laughs> Is that double TP? No, the, the game plan just walked, but the NASA TP. Okay, I mean, we're just gonna get Baron for that. I mean, that's just worth, right? I mean, they they hard briefed that. <laughs> I mean, they got me, right? They got my shutdown? But they gave a Baron for it, and I still got the Nocturne. Nice. Oh my god, the Sumer almost killed them both. Um, I'm gonna grab a pickaxe here. I think if I had Sterics there, I'd actually just kill them all. I, oh, I stood on control ward? Oh, I didn't even see it. I'm blind. Okay, um, we need to go for this dragon. Jason down. Okay, Gangplank's up here. He's the only one that really has high burst. Okay. I see that you see the Nasus, which uh, I think canceled his uh, his auto on Talon. We should get this bot turret. Stay alert. Like right now. Like don't let them defend this. Yeah. Sorry, fine. Um, you know, I actually don't get anything from backing. I just need to stay on the field until I get my sterics. My destination is <laughs> Strength above all. Looking for a pick on the way back, maybe. Oh. If I kill them, he just gets it so old. So, fine. Um, I need 122 gold. I need these wolves.
They have so much wave clear with uh, game playing, and our Baron's over. It's like they engaged. They didn't get anything done though. The shake has so much peel. Okay, we need to get this game plank. Never retreat. Our team's kind of just waiting to collect free objectives. Oh. No, I got slowed by Zillion. I got slowed by Zillion, so when I Q flash, it didn't get in range. That's my damage. Okay. I mean, I didn't even proc Sterics yet. Still didn't proc Sterics. Oh my gosh. The healing from Death Dance 2 was so nice. Yeah, we should take this. We can't end. Not with GP coming up. But we can get double in him. me when I play Gangplank, by the way. <laughs> I did the same shit. Alright. Um. Let's see. We don't need any MR, right? We just go full armor. I think I just might buy Thornmail. I mean, these guys both have shield, though. This guy has Eclipse. This guy has Divine Thunderer. Like, the armor, the HP, and the Grievous wounds is gonna help a lot. Nice, good pick on um, to Nocturne. Oh, they had a pin board here. I should go still alive. Yeah, we just get a free dragon. I mean, Hextech. Oh my gosh, if we got a four Hextech sold. We're going to have so much attack speed on our team. And we're actually a bunch of AD champions, too. We're, we're both AD stacked. Good thing I got the true damage. Ultimate does a casual 1k true damage. And actually, with full stack Conqueror and my uh, my 5 stack, it's probably like 1300 true damage or something. Maybe even more than that, to be honest. Very close to Thornmill. Thornmill really huge for not only the mitigation, but the um oh gosh. I hate Zill. Let mid and top shove. With overwhelming. I don't know why my shake went over. We should just done the burn. Look at their base though. Their base can shit on. Died at Death Dance, I think. Look, look at their base. So this whole time they're trying to contest our Baron, right? But we actually have Winions. 
The Winions, baby! So, they were contesting his Baron so hard, they gave up both Nexus turrets. The Shaco kills him. <laughs> well played! I'm starting to think I should maybe get this Elixir of Iron. Just so I can have the extra tenacity. Plus, if I'm ghosting ahead of my team, giving my team 15% moon speed might not be too bad. Nice. Okay, yeah, we can do Baron now. We can do Baron and then just end the game, right? I would say let's go end the game now. But... I, like... By the time I get to their Nexus, they will have respawned. So we might as well just take the free Baron, then we can end. on him, but I think we can just reset. I do not tolerate cowardice. Yeah, we gotta reset in. Let's go up. Alright, we have Ghost and Flash. We got our full build with our Elixir of Iron. We're ready to go. I don't think I'll sell tabbies for anything, but just in case, I'm getting a little bit extra for him. Oh, look at my health. I got healed so much from Death Dance. I took all their cooldowns and lived. Nice. So much healing. There you go. Man, I love Darius. I love Darius. It's so easy to lane and then your team fight here is broken. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help me out with my numbers and the YouTube algorithm. And hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And uh, for those of you watching on my Twitch stream, bye YouTube!